Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 16 Developer Preview 1, which is two months earlier than expected, which is shocking. So let's find out what's new on my Pixel 8 Pro after installing Android 16 Developer Preview 1. Before starting, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about my upcoming Android 16 videos. But for now, let's take a look at the build number. You'll notice here that the Android version is called Baklava. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but let's take a look at the build number. It's PP21.241018.009. And now let's take a look at the new features. Keep in mind that this build is not massive and it only includes a couple of new features and some visual changes. And the first one is located under settings and then connected devices and then connection preferences. And we finally got the new audio sharing feature. So let's take a look at the description. It says, let people listen to your media along with you. Listeners need their own low energy audio headphones. And when I tap on the toggle, it says to start sharing audio, first connect low energy audio headphones to your phone. But unfortunately, I don't have any low energy headphones, but I'm planning to purchase one to show you how this feature works. And then we have the audio stream settings. Here you can give a name to your device and set a pairing password. And finally, we have the improved compatibility toggle. It says here helps some devices like hearing aids connect by reducing audio quality. If you have a Bluetooth low energy headphones and you tested this feature, please let me know in the comments if it works and that will be really appreciated. The second change is also under settings and then security and the privacy and then privacy dashboard. When you tap on the ellipses at the top right corner, now you have the ability to show data up to seven days. Other than this, there are a couple of under the hood changes mentioned in Android Police article by Mesha Rahman. The first one is called Embedded Photo Picker. Now with Android 16, developers can embed the native photo picker of Android 16 in their own apps. And here is a quick look at the native photo picker of Android 16, which is the same one of Android 15, but now it's easier for developers to apply the change. The second one is the Health Connect app can now let apps read and write medical records in FHIR format, which is a data standard that enables electronic health records to exchange medical records with one another. Plus, there are a couple of other features mentioned in this article, but they are very technical, so I'm gonna leave its link in the description if you want to go through them yourself. By the way, if you like any of the wallpapers I use in my videos, you will find them in the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app, and I will leave the Google Play Store download link in the description so you can check it out and now let me show you the visual changes I spotted in Android 16. The first one is the Wi-Fi network QR code. So for example, if you want to share your Wi-Fi network via QR code, this is how it looks now. It has a material U shape and instead of the normal square like before. The second change is in the quick settings. You'll notice here that everything is smaller on Android 16. For example, the media controls are narrower with a bigger gap at the bottom when compared to Android 15 and also the gaps on the sides of the tiles are now bigger as well, making the tiles narrower than before. And the same applies under settings. You'll notice here that any main toggle under settings is now narrower than Android 15 and this is how it looks. You will find the same in multiple areas. So for example, when I go to battery on both and then go to adaptive charging, let's say, you will see also a narrower main toggle to activate the feature to make it on or off. And for some reason, as you see here, the limit to 80% option is still missing in Android 16. I'm not sure why. So that's it when it comes to the visual changes. Now let's talk about the issues I came across while using Android 16. Thankfully, they are minor issues, but let's go through them anyways. The first one is in the widgets settings page. As you see, the text at the top overlaps with the status bar which doesn't look great. The second one is related to the game dashboard. As you see, the buttons at the top overlaps with the status bar, which makes it hard to interact with. So that's it when it comes to the issues. Now let's talk about the performance. So far, everything works perfectly well while filming this video. The app launching speed is very snappy. The scrolling is perfect. I didn't encounter any major issues while filming the video, but I definitely need more time to test this build and give you my final thoughts. But for now, it seems to be as good as QPR2 Beta 1, which is already very stable in my opinion. And finally, let me show you the biggest surprise that comes with Android 16. When you take a look at the official page, you will see that the Pixel 6 models are included, even though they came with Android 12. 
and they are upgradable to Android 15 only. But it seems like Google decided to include the Pixel 6 for one more year to get Android 16, which is great news for those who are using the Pixel 6 models. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features I wanted to show you in Android 16 Developer Preview 1. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. In case I spotted any new features, I will create a follow-up video, so please consider subscribing to the channel to get everything new about Android 16. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.